Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God said, who do you live for? Who you wake up to every day? Believe and trust in me. Some of you, you need to look at yourself in a mirror. You need to look at yourself and see what you're doing. Who do you wake up to? Are you waking up to your husband? Are you waking up to your wife? Are you waking up to God? Who do you wake up to every day? Who do you believe in more? Who do you believe in more? Who do you hear more? Who do you sacrifice yourself to every day? I want you to think about this. I want you to really ask yourself, who do I live for? Is I'm living for my husband? Is I'm living for my wife? Is I'm living for my kids? Some of you may say I'm living for my kids. Some of you may say I'm living for my husband. I'm living for my wife. The main person you need to live for is God. He loves your soul. He cares about you. He's your father. You need to live for Jesus every day. Live for God. Stop living for everybody and live for God. Live for him. He love you. He love your soul. He want the best for you. In Luke 1 and 45, it reads, And blessed is she who believe that there will be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. I want you to understand that God want to speak to some of y'all, but you're giving your attention to the wrong people in your life. And you have to understand that God want a relationship with you. He want to have a deep conversation. He want to have that connection with you that only you and him have together. But you have to give God your attention when you wake up in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, yes, you may talk to your spouse. You may talk to your husband, your wife, but you need to talk to God first. You need to include God into your day. We worry about everything else around us. We need to worry about our salvation. We need to worry about our relationship with God. Some of you need to ask yourself, Listen, you can be a Christian your whole life, but are you going to church? Are you feeding your spirit? Are you fasting? Are you praying? Are you meditating? Are you including God into your day? You can be a Christian all day long, but you're not, you not safe as a Christian. Some of you say you say you're not safe because if you were safe, you wouldn't be acting the way that you acted. Some of you slam doors. Some of you doing things that you shouldn't be doing. Some of you cursing your kids out, cursing your husband, cursing everybody out. And let me tell you this, we got to get up and we got to do what God asks us to do. Get up, repent, wake up every day. And believe and trust in God every day as you on this earth. You need to live for God. Stop living for your kids. Some of y'all, I tell you, is a shame. If you ask some of these mothers, ask some of these people out here, who do you live for? Who are you living for? You can't listen to me. You need to live for God. Your kids, yes, they are important. But God is important too. You need to care about your you need to care about God. You need to care about your salvation. You need to care about what you love. But what I'm saying to you, you need to care about the main source, which is God. You need to go back on your knees and repent and say, Lord, help me to live right for you. Because I'm going to tell you, your kids love you, but God loves you more. You got to sacrifice and give yourself to God. doesn't matter what you're going through in life. I want you to start fasting. I want you to start getting closer to God now. Get closer to him and make him your first your first priority, you need to make God first. I remember when, you know, I'll be waking up in the morning. The first thing I do is read my Bible. I would go on my phone app or I would just sit down while my kids sleep. I would just read my Bible. It's very important that everybody have a Bible. You need to invest in a Bible. You can invest in clothes, shoes, but you need to invest in a Bible. A Bible is very important because shoes and clothes and go. But guess what? The word of God live forever. You got to make sure you have God in your life. Make sure you feed in your spirit. Make sure you're including God in your day every day. I love you all. I want to say be encouraged. I want you to start realizing that God loves your soul. You are important to him. And if you don't feed your spirit, you will not, you will not feel better. You will not be in the situation where you at today. 
if it wasn't for God lifting you up. God has to pull you out of certain things and he has to take you to the next level. But you got to remember God loves you and whatever God needs to do in you, he will do it. But every day that you wake up, you need to believe in God and you need to have faith. You need to know that God is on your side. Whatever the devil try to do, it ain't going to work because God going to turn it around and work it out for your good. Whatever you want to prosper, whatever you need to do, all you got to do is bring it to God and God will make a way for you. He loves your soul. He loves you. He care about you and he will fill you up like never before. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Don't let the devil take your power. You are important. God love you. He love your soul. He want the best for you. I love you all. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Don't give up, but pray about all things. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Be encouraged.